there was an upset in Division One women's basketball tonight. It's Notre Dame that lost to number 20, Maryland. Notre Dame was a top 10 team. In fact, they were number seven in the country. What in the world happened? The final score was 74 cent. 72. Maryland scored 16 points to 13. They had the advantage in the first, but second quarter, Notre Dame scored 19. Maryland scored 17. Notre Dame scored 23 in the third, while Maryland scored 18. But the fourth quarter, Maryland scored 23, while Notre Dame scored 17. So, besides that, what in the world happened in this game? Notre Dame shot 45.2 percent from the field 28 for 62 on the field on from the field 6 for 17 on threes 10 for 15 on free throws 37 rebounds 18 assists 7 steals 5 blocks 18 turnovers that's a lot of turnovers 17 fouls that's too many and they only had 9 points off the bench but Maryland had 16 points on the, off the bench and they shot 40 percent from the field 28 for 70 to be exact 4 for 16 on threes 14 for 17 on free throws. Yeah, those do matter. They made a majority of them. We, they had 41 rebounds in the game, which 17 of those were offensive. Um, 11 assists, which is less than Notre Dame. 9 steals, which is more than Notre Dame. 3 blocks, which is less than Notre Dame. 13 turnovers, which is less than Notre Dame. And 15 fouls, which is less than Notre Dame. And, and of course, the starters, if you take away the bench points, the stars from Maryland scored more. So that's why they lost. Nordane did. So who did they play next? Well, it's not going to get any easier because they have a Jimmy V Classic against Nor uh, UConn at home. Oh, that's tough. They got Lafayette. The following game, which in theory they should win that game. And sure, it's in Eastern Pennsylvania. But they should win that game regardless. They got then the following game after that is on December tenth. Is Merrimack that's one and five. They should win the next two after UConn no matter what. So yeah. And it's not even that's just a name that game right there. And the last game to include is number nine Virginia Tech. That's currently unbeaten. And that's on the road, so that's another tough game. So really I have three tough games out of six here. I mean if you want to include tonight, one, two, three tough games. I mean, out of five here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, granted, after that like Virginia Tech game on the road, they play Western Michigan on, at home. They should win that game in theory. So, it's still, it's going to be interesting what they do. Now, for Maryland, I went over their schedule so much. They play Nebraska at home. They play at Purdue that's currently 7-1. You they play UConn at home. And to name one more game or two is Purdue Fort Worth. They should win that game in theory. They should they play Minnesota on the thirtieth. And they're four and three. So really I think the last two they should win in theory. It's Nebraska it's not going to be an easy game. They were in the top 25. Purdue's not going to be easy. UConn is not going to be easy. So the next three games are not easy by any stretch of the imagination. So, anyways, I just want to say how come did Notre Dame women's basketball lose? Like and subscribe. If you haven't already, that's going to be important to subscribe to more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.